Well, it looks like it's snowing outside. I don't know about you, but I, I would call this a pretty good one here. One of the things that uh, a lot of people don't realize about Vermont is that it is one of the most rural states in all of America. Uh, about 61, I think, 0.3% of all the people that live in Vermont live in a town of less than 2,500 people. And uh, so that's going to mean that we need a, a different kind of planter to uh, be called of God to come to Vermont, a guy that's happy ministering in a smaller town, a guy that has satisfaction and fulfillment in a ministry that is somewhere in the, the realm of 50, 100, 150 people. And I really believe that God has a lot of men and their families that he wants to call to this place to do ministry. If I can sing, let my songs be full of His glory. If I can speak, let my words be full of His grace. And if I should live or die, let me be found pursuing this praise. My husband does every kind of hunting, rabbit, deer, goose. Duck, you name it, he does it. Maple syrup, yeah. I think we're actually one of the nicest people. We're very, um, we help each other. Native Vermonters are really old fashioned, hardcore. We all have our different fates, but we all get along together. Hard working, hard working men and women, firemen, and football, and I don't know, trucks. For me personally, I love small town ministry. I, I think there is a, a huge place in North America for uh, small town church planting, and I'm, I'm so glad that God's given me an opportunity to be a, a spokesperson for rural church planting. I love the small town feel. It's a wonderful place to raise kids. A lot of things revolve around the town, and I, I love that, and I think there are a lot of people in ministry uh, that would love that as well but just haven't, haven't realized the need that exists here with this being not only the most rural state in America, but the most unreligious. The town of Northfield has about 8,000 plus uh, residents and the major ministry we have here is with uh, 2,000 students at Norwich University. Norwich is one of the top three military colleges in the U.S. and uh, we have a large uh, college ministry outreach that we are excited uh, to work with. We've been doing a lot of ministry to the young people in the trailer parks just to, around the corner here. Uh, we've had up to 75 kids come out to do a hot dog roast and, and we have VBS and different ministries that way. It's a mixture of uh, blue collar and, and uh, some second homes. Not a lot of business here. It's a bedroom community and just on the south um, western tip of Vermont. I'm church planning in Burlington, Vermont. Um, it's the biggest city in Vermont. It, uh, it has, well, roughly, we'll just say 40,000 people in it right now. Um, and yeah, that's the biggest city. We've got 56 towns here in the Northeast Kingdom. And we only have Baptist churches in four. And we believe that God has led us to plant churches in every town in the Northeast Kingdom by the year 2020. And West Paulette, Vermont is a unique town in that there are more cows than people in the town. The, uh, the emphasis here is on getting to know people and just loving on people and showing them the love of Christ, not so much in a corporate setting, but individually. And oftentimes that's the real need in, in a rural setting. Welcome, this is uh, North Bennington, Vermont. We're in the southwest corner of Vermont. This community has um, a lot of kind people people who will bend over backwards to help you. If your house burns down, they'll do a fundraiser and they'll make you a pie, but they're lost. These are people who love their lives and they love their neighbors, but they don't know Jesus Christ. Now, I don't know about you, but that breaks my heart. And one of the things that God has done has, he has challenged me to, uh, to come here. Uh, this past summer, we transitioned out of our first church plan into the second and God has established a Bible-believing, thriving church in West Pollard and now with Poultney, Vermont. And 
I realize that uh, Vermont may not be one of our sin cities. It, it may have a population less than uh, a lot of our sin cities, the entire state, but there are a lot of lost people here that need the gospel just as much as someone in New York City. And we're praying that you might be a part of that team, that you might be a part of that movement. Uh, with a population in Chittenden County of close to 200,000, we only have three Southern Baptist churches in, in the Burlington and Burlington surrounding areas, and we've got to see that statistic change. Down in Bennington in southern Vermont, we have a town of 16,000 plus and no Southern Baptist Church in downtown Bennington. And so I'd love to show you these places, places like Brattleboro, Vermont, who according to the executive director of the Baptist Convention of New England said, could be one of the darkest cities in all of America. I'd love to show you that town and show you some opportunities that exist there for church planting. I'd love to walk with you and I'd love to help equip you to accomplish what God is, is wanting to do in and through your life for His kingdom.